Hey guys, welcome finally to my video explaining why I've chosen midwifery as my practice for baby. So, oh, before I get into that, if you guys ever see my sheets all clumpy, that's because my pregnancy pillow is usually underneath the sheets and I realize that it kind of looks a little lumpy. So, yeah, that's that there. Um, today I wanted to talk about all of my reasons why I am choosing a midwife over an OBGYN over a family doctor. So, in Ontario, specifically in the city that I live in, you have three options. Family doctor, midwife, or OBGYN or OB. Um, so there is no wrong choice. There's no right choice. So basically you choose based on what you're most comfortable with and what is right for you and your family. So my, here are my reasons as to why I'm choosing midwifery. Um, but it's not to talk down to any other option. So the first reason why was birthplace options. I like the idea of having the option to give birth at home, um, give birth in a birth center, or to give birth in a hospital. I don't like hospitals at all. I think they're very scary. And every time I've gone into one, someone dies. So I'm very anti-hospital, but I may end up having my child in a hospital because I have that option. So that's the, like one of the choices uh, or one of the reasons why I chose midwifery. Um, the birth center that's close to me is very, very nice. It looks like a spa. I can give birth in water, I can give birth in a bed, um, I can walk around, like there's all these different options. So I'm very excited about that. That and it's a very, very close to a hospital. And by very close, I mean like a one minute ambulance ride, like not even. Um, and they do have an ambulance bay in case that needed to happen. So. Um, if I needed to be transferred to a hospital. So that's, that's, I don't know. It's kind of like a hospital wing because it's so close to the hospital. Um, I like, my second reason is that I like that they have a non-medical approach. I don't believe that pregnancy, if you are low risk and healthy, is a medical thing. It's something completely natural. Humans have been doing it since, the very beginning without medical intervention. So I'm just saying that based on low risk, healthy, no complications, etc. Obviously, if you're a high risk or if you are having different complications, like I don't know, you you have like you have to take medicine for something, obviously, if it is in the best interest of keeping you and the baby healthy and safe then of course you'll want a medical way. But if there's no need for medical intervention, I do like the fact that midwifery is a natural approach. Um, so there's no like pressure to use interventions like an epidural or um, like a C-section. Cause you know, things, I've watched the documentary, um, The Business of Being Born, and that kind of really opened my eye to um, how the business of of birthing has really changed the way we birth so time limits on like you know how long you can be in labor for before they say okay we need to use forceps or we need to um, cut you up and take the baby out etc now there are obviously reasons why that is needed for the safety of baby and mama but in a normal scenario when it could have been a vaginal birth. There's a lot of those that are turning into C-sections, etc., because of the patience of the doctors, the knowledge of natural birth with doctors, etc. So watch the documentary if you're curious. Um, it's definitely changed my opinion on certain things, 
but I know in Canada it's not as bad as the US um, because it is an American documentary so um, I recommend you watch it anyways because it's you'll learn something from it um, appointments is the third reason so when you have appointments with a family doctor um, they most likely will never be on time at least where I live um, they are pretty quick um, I'd say about 20 minutes long um, if not shorter and if you have an OBGYN or an OB then your appointments are even shorter you may not even see your OBGYN uh, you may just see like someone else in the rotation so um, with midwifery you actually get like 45 minutes to an hour appointment with your midwife every appointment and you're going to see your midwife you're making it with that appointment and because they don't work like doctor's offices they're they're I've always experienced it on time if not early so I really like the appointment system and how long you could spend with them and um, yeah just that that ability to chat and talk and get to know who's gonna deliver your baby so um, I also appreciate another reason is their on-call system so I have a phone number to the pager of my midwife directly so if I have any questions at all if something's concerning me, I can page her, she'll call me, and we can talk over the phone whether or not it's a concern. If I had a family doctor, I would have to make an appointment, I'd have to go in, I'd have to talk to them, etc. If I had an OBGYN, then, well, that's even harder to get appointments, and, you know, it, it may not even see them. You might have to go to your family doctor first. I don't know. Um, don't know exactly how it works there, but I love the the ability to just reach out and get that information from her. Um, my next reason is knowing who's delivering. So my family doctor um, is part of a group at a hospital that delivers babies, but she has gone on maternity leave herself. She's actually due like any day now, if, she, if not already had her baby, but um, basically in this family doctor rotation, if you go to that hospital to deliver your baby, it could be any one of those family doctors. So you could have met them, or you could not have met them, a complete stranger. Um, when it comes to your OBGYN, same thing. Yes, you may have a designated OB, but if she is in another birth, or if she is not on call then, it would be someone in the rotation, and you don't, you could, potentially have met them in one of your appointments and maybe not. So the idea of not knowing who's going to be there for my birth really freaked me out. With the midwife practice, the way my midwife um, and her community works is she is my primary midwife and then she has a secondary, then I have a secondary midwife. So that secondary midwife I will meet um, quite a few times in appointments uh, when I'm not with my primary midwife say she's at a birth or whatever um, and when the birth happens either one of them will be there if not both of them so best case scenario both of them will be there um, the primary midwife would be taking care of me and delivering and then the secondary midwife would be the baby's caregiver once it's born um, and if the primary midwife is at another birth and my secondary midwife shows up, she will have her secondary midwife show up. So worst case scenario is I have my secondary midwife and a backup midwife that I may or may not have met. I could have met them, um, but they could be a complete stranger, but at least one person I will know for sure. So. That to me, because it's my first time, I want to relieve any anxiety about the birth as much as I can. So the fact that I know who's going to be there, and I know what's going to happen roughly, <laughs> I mean births are never to plan, but um, that makes me feel better. I hope that that kind of um, 
helps you understand why I've cho chosen midwifery. Um, the last reason is the afterbirth experience. So when you deliver in a hospital, you may be there for a few days depending on what happened in the in the birth and then you're sent home and then like a week or two whatever you go to your doctors or I don't know exactly the time frame but you would go to the doctors with your newborn and get the checkup when it comes to midwifery they actually come to your home every other day or every third day for the first little while and then um, after two or three weeks, you go to them. So the first little bit, they are consistently checking on you and baby in your home. So they'll come to you, which I really, really like. I don't like the idea of, uh, you know, a one week old having to like leave the house and not really knowing how to do things, or whatever, getting them there. So I like the idea that they come to me and they check on the baby, etc. So that, that and I'm in the comfort of my own home if I'm not feeling well, if I'm exhausted, you know, I don't have to rush out the door and get to an appointment. They'll come to me. So all of those reasons make me very confident in my decision. My best friend at work, she's a week behind me. Um, she is going with an OBGYN like she did her first child. Um, so she sees my, her family doctor until the OB kind of takes over, I think, in the second trimester. Not sure exactly how it works for her, but um, she's having her baby in a hospital. She already knows that. She knows the hospital, um, what room, etc., because she's done it before. So she's very confident in that um, respect, and the experience that she had was positive. So, um, like I said, there's no wrong choice in in choosing who you want to deliver your child so all the all of the options that you have and you may not have all these options you may only have a family doctor you may only have an OB um, because depending on where you live you may or may not have those care providers available so um, research check out that documentary um, ask a bunch of questions ask friends and family what they've chosen why how their experience was etc and find something that works for you because every single person is different and everyone's birthing experience is different and what makes them feel comfortable will be different uh, than your personal preferences so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this video thumbs up if you did and share it if you know people who um, you know may be deciding or um, they're choosing a midwife and and you want them to choose something else or they're choosing something else and you want them to choose midwifery, whatever, just share the video so you can share the information. And like I said, this is my personal choice and what's gonna work best for me. My fiance is definitely um, against out of hospital birth. So when I do the video with him, um, I'll do like the fiance tag or man tag or whatever you wanna call it. Um, we'll talk about different things like that and how we're gonna deal and figure out what we're gonna do for our family. So thank you again so much. I'm rambling now. I'm sorry. Much love. Bye.